Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Do well to subscribe and to share. We bring you the best of knowledge and wisdom that will make you succeed in your endeavor. Welcome. So if God shouldn't are no fighters, eh? this earth then you are not qualified for this earth you can go to heaven or go fast because there is no word there as for your certificate to be shortened so you can go move but here you have to fight for your inheritance the other side is no play i said they are hittites amorites jebusites all of them giants armed to the teeth. So whatever you are believing God for is being occupied by very deadly forces that don't want you near. If this does not help you, let it help you to understand the, the magnitude of Adam's rebellion, the problems he brought on earth. I thought after fighting the Egyptian and escaping salvation, I'm now born again. You know, look, there are seven ordinances around that one, no? Seven. You know, it's not just people born again. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm baptized with water, you know, all these things. I've been cleansed with the blood of Jesus. I thought it's over. How many of you have been born again? Who know that there is still war? Let me see your hand. <laughs> if you don't know, be coming. Maybe you are still a baby Christian. Be coming. That's why dominion is not for faint hearted people. The dominion gospel is a strong man's gospel. The baby gospel is a gospel of salvation. Because here, only what you do is cry, they come and deliver you. Here, you, if you cry, you take your sword. Here, no manner, no free food. You fight or you die of hunger. This year we are going into his deadly. You are going to see giants bringing the thing in millions, some in billions, some in hundreds of billions, because we are going to open up the tools. So, if you want to understand why people like David are men of sacrifice, if you want to understand Jesus, if you want to understand the Father, if you want to understand Solomon, if you want to understand Abraham, uh, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. It's not salvation they are praying for. They've gotten that one. Is dominion. The in between here and here is Mount Sinai. That's what is called church. They went to Mount Sinai. We come to Mount Zion. What is the purpose? Where you are trained for your next level. When you come out of Egypt, they put you there and train you, disciple you for your next level. That's what we do in Mount Zion. Church is not your destination. Dominion is your destination. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? You have to be in charge of one territory, of one sphere, of one area of life. You have to be ruling in one sphere of life. That's God's plan for you. He called you out of here to make you kings and priests. The mystery of here is that God uses Moses to bring you out. The mystery of here is that you have to take your destiny in your hand and fight for it. Yes, you still need spiritual leadership, but you have to become a warrior. If not, you will die halfway to destiny, hiding inside church, but not achieving destiny. Some of you have stayed for too long at Mount Sinai. You have not made progress. Your destiny is the land of Canaan.
the only law of the fourth dimension that trumps sacrifice is obedience. That's the highest they have there. Their highest obedience. And in the New Testament, that obedience includes the law of love. <laughs> obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. So what Jesus did was to combine the two. Submission to the Father and then laying down his life to recover everything that was lost. Mary deployed that when she was in the marriage and the wine ran out in Cana of Galilee. He called all those men, called his disciples and said, whatsoever he says to you, what? Do it. That's the law of obedience. Whenever you want a miracle, God gives you an instruction. That's how it works here. Here, when you want healing or salvation, you, you believe in the finished work of Christ. Dominion, there has to be an instruction you must obey. You must act upon. And then you step into it. The church in Africa has stayed in this realm long enough. Recycling people here. Gospel of grace. Gospel of salvation. I hope you know that if your inheritance is cement industry, and your billions are there, that there are already a Hittite and Amorites. You have to fight through. Because they are not just there to sell their own. They are there to crush every new arrival. You need to know what is going on. Now. So, the world of business is not a joke. It's a war. The world of politics, if you are calling this in politics, if it's state level, there are some giga... There are some Amorites and giga shite you have to fight through. If it is at the federal level, that one is even more serious. 